you didn't notice a gnome inside the fridge and he always go. brings it up being like you don't take care of the things like <laughs> You said I was the only one. It's like a rainy day earring. Because no you have to, have to, have to trim the edges or it will overlap you on itself and you will ruin it. And obviously, as you saw, that is exactly ah. what happened. Now I wanna burn all the bridges between us. Welcome back to the new vlog the new vlog acting like this is new um welcome back to a new vlog it is wednesday and we have an order to pack together first thing um we have nicole ordered not only did she order once she ordered twice within 24 hours um and so we're gonna pack that up it's my second to largest order I've had so far online wise. Um, so thank you, Nicole. I know you watch YouTube because you sent me a message telling me that you watch the channel. You've been here since Pearls and Daggers, which kind of blows my mind because most of you, I see the Pearls and Daggers, you're like, what in the heck was that? Back in the day, like over 10 years ago, I think I've been on YouTube 13 or 12 years, 12 or 13, since 2011, or was it 2012? Doesn't matter. But anyways, back in the day, um, you didn't, most people didn't go by their name, like I have it, my name now. Um, we went by a like, not like a stage name, but essentially. So um, Pearls and Daggers is my old YouTube channel. I'm gonna start doing like reviews of my old videos, and like my intro was like pearl it was so bad it's so bad um I still have a lot of stuff that's pearls and daggers like my email for my YouTube channel is still pearls and daggers anyways thank you Nicole I hope you enjoy all your goodies we were gonna be matching today but I took off my sweatshirt wasn't matching my leggings very well so other than packing her order and shipping it today um, I think we're gonna go on a walk, uh, Asher and I, because it's really nice out today. He's napping, obviously, um, so I'm gonna pack the order. I always pack orders while he's napping, if I can help it, just because I can do, like, an ASMR, uh, no noise in the background. I'm also gonna have to trap my kitties in here while I do it, because, well, Oliver, he never gets into anything, but he just seems pretty content right now in the corner over there, if you can see him. And then Max, Max is the one we have to trap because he gets into everything. Anything I'm touching, he's on top of. So he makes packing videos very difficult. So if I can trap him for a little bit, that's gonna make it go faster and easier. And he won't ruin anything, so. <laughs> That's the plan. Let's go ahead and hop over to my living room because I'm going to do my packing video there just on my table. I cleared off the dining room table because the lighting's better there. It's like next to our fridge doors and I just don't like my packing videos back here. If I can figure out a way to make this room a little more YouTube and like content friendly then I would do it but right now it's just not. And we still need to do a, more of these embroideries. I literally, I stopped. You guys saw the last one I did. I've done four so far. They are adorable. And I've done way more of my bookmarks because I did my core collection, the ones I'm going to sell online. And then I'm just going to make a bunch of them for my markets, my in-person markets. But I also, for like the markets, really love doing just like unique, one-of-a-kind ones where I'm not doing my certain pattern that I've created. Because that way I can do like a zero waste with my beads. Because sometimes I have, when I order them, I'll need maybe like 20 charms, like big charms. Why is it zooming? I'm not even touching it. But it's happening. Camera, go back. Um, Because, okay. Sometimes I only need like 20 big charms. But then my beads like, we'll say the paws, comes in a pack of like 30, you know what I mean? 30, whatever. But it doesn't always match out. So sometimes I have extra beads. So I think I'm going to do the one-of-a-kind ones for that. But I've been making my online ones because I want to obviously have a good stash of those. And then I'm selling those at markets too. And then my, oh, my Stanley charms are coming out so freaking cute. Again, with Stanley charms for markets, like, I can just use my extra beads and, like, create designs. I don't have to do a specific one, you know? Like, these bumblebees. Let me turn the light on and see if that's better. The bumblebees. Like, these are so cute, but I'm not doing these online. I just had extras. So, like, look how cute. And then I do have, like, this one 
is going to be an online one. Or it is. This one's an online one. And then this star one's an online one. So these three are in my core collection right now. So I'll have all the beads for that. But these, like, I've been just doing random ones that are so adorable. Okay, let's... Oh, but I didn't show you guys. Look at these earrings. It's like a rainy day earring. Ugh, love them. I don't have them online, but I have them for markets. Like these... And then these, oh, so cute. Okay, now I'm gonna go do Nicole's order. Oh, we're dying. Hard at work, hard at work. We've done six, most technically seven, and we have seven more to go. I don't have to get them done by the market, so I'm not like stressing about it, but it'd be cool if I had them done. Just so I could sell them if, if it's a big crowd pleaser. Um, and then I got so many bookmarks done. My battery's dying, so I'll have to update you guys later. I just wanted to pop in and show you the progress. Happy Valentine's Day. We are really uh, skipping our nap, and I was gonna do this ASMR style, but we're not, we're not gonna be able to do that anymore. We're gonna do a fridge clean out. This is my Valentine's Day, basically, to Randy, and that's because he is OCD, and we're gonna make this fridge something a little bit cleaner and more aesthetic. So I have a bunch of stuff out that I've been saving for the last year to do a fridge and pantry clean out. So we're gonna use what we can of this and then what's left over. At some point I'll do the pantry in the next week or so. So I'm going to probably get off of here and clean it first and then I'll come back with like actually putting stuff back in. And I need to charge my battery. <laughs> Happy Valentine's Day. Lordy. Okay, this is gross. This is <laughs> two years worth of, gr like, I'm embarrassed. I am actually embarrassed. What is, is that like leaky meat down there? It has to be. Or I guess that could be wine too. I know. I know some of that's wine. This is gross. Am I putting this online? Are you ready for the reveal? <laughs> Bee, what are you doing? Bee. Okay, we're always gonna be con. Well, I'm always gonna be a condiment person, so like that wasn't gonna get smaller, but it does look better. Look at that. Mm -mm -mm. Look at my little gnome. I got him from the Dollar Tree. Everything's from the Dollar Tree except for this is from TJ Maxx. Um, all these containers. Oh, those are from TJ Maxx too. We usually have more milk than that. So one of them is obviously partially full. And then there's our HelloFresh. Did you go potty? Did you change you? Yeah, I do. Give me the garlic. Let's put that back. Yep. Oh, come on. Oh, no, Bubba. We gotta go. I also need to clean the floor because Asher uh, took some onions 
did you? What are you doing? <laughs> took an onion and started unpeeling it. Yeah. Okay, come on. I think this is gonna conclude the uh, <laughs> Valentine's Day vlog. I know it was a short segment, but it's gonna be compiled into other stuff. So I'm gonna say goodbye because I'm gonna see if we can go to the gym. Can we go to the gym? Yeah. <laughs> Bye. Good morning, welcome to another vlog. I have, well, we're about to go to mom group. I was gonna show you guys before I give this, cause this is a gift, obviously. Um, Cora is not mine. <laughs> um, but I bought another one of these little chore charts. And this one's just a little bit different. This is a little lower of a price point. Um, no sir, trying to get my beads down there. Say hello, hi. <laughs> Anyways, um, but this one's just as nice. And this one came from Dane and Doodle. So if you are looking for a tour chart, but you don't want to spend like, I think the one I had was $50. It's, they range so crazy. They can be from, this was 30, all the way up to, I've seen $300 ones. Granted, I don't know what a $300 one like feels and looks like, but I can't imagine that it's like worth 300, but I also am not the ones making them, you know? Um, um, sir, no, 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 we are not pulling that. No, get off, 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 release. Okay, I'm, I'm leaving. It's starting to rain, dang it, we normally walk. Okay, I have to head out. I just wanted to show you that. I'll be back later on. Hopefully he naps today. Yesterday did not happen. Oh, and by the way, the fridge, you guys saw the transformation. He, Randy didn't notice. He didn't notice it. It was my act of service Valentine's Day gift and he did not notice it. I'm like, you didn't notice a gnome inside the fridge? And he went inside the fridge. He's like, nope. <laughs> so that's how that went. Just, just wanted to throw that in there. Okay, and now I'm leaving. <laughs> Goodbye. Back from, I keep calling it mom group. It is definitely child group you know it's like for them it's not it's, I mean it's it's for everyone but still um he was I don't know what it is he I mean he's a toddler now but sharing sharing has been a struggle this past week um normally he's really good about like giving toys up but he was the first time today just like was taking them from everyone and just screaming when I went over and like was trying to teach them to share so I, th I think this is just a toddlerhood moment that we're gonna have to work through. But um, it, honestly, that group was more stressful for me than anyone. And he kept like losing me. I don't know, like I was in the same spot. I wasn't moving around, but he kept like going up to the other moms and just like starting to cry and like wanting them to pick him up and like looking around for me, like as if I left the room. I don't know, he was acting very strange today. I put him down for a nap. Fingers crossed he actually takes one because yesterday, like I told you guys, um, maybe 30, enough for me to eat, which is great. Like I need that time to just like sit down with my toast and watch some YouTube videos. Uh, Goo Goo Goods was on, which I love her videos. I love watching her market videos. So if, if you need someone to watch, uh, definitely watch her. I have a whole list. If you want me to like link my list of people I watch down, I will. It might be a nice way to like support other people because... I have a lot of, a lot of YouTubers that I watch. So anyways, back to, I don't know really what I was saying. Anyways, that's how my morning has been. Also, he, I, this is dumb. This is so dumb. I have a Stanley. I love my Stanley. I love the color of it I, and everything. But it has now like become a display piece to me and no longer is a functional piece for me. And that's just like, my mindset because I constantly am using it for photos, like trying out new Stanley charms. This is my own personal charm that I have. I love her. So she just has a B for Brittany and then the little kitty on it and the bows. And I love the little blue because it matches my Stanley. So this, anyways, but this is a display piece and I don't use it. So it's like, what's the point of having it? I need to get a fake like tum not a fake tumbler. I just need to get a tumbler that's not a Stanley. I had one from Timo that was only ten dollars, and the handle just broke off. So uh, I've just been using this as my display piece now. So I need to get another cheap one that I can use as my display and as my product photos. One that's not making me like cringe the fact that it's not in use. So anyways, I've been using my Yeti. I don't love this. Are these even popular? Do people even like these? Um, this was actually 
a present from Randy for the first year we were together on my birthday. And I honestly don't know why he got me one because I had never asked for one before. I had the most beautiful lilac, like light lavender hydro mountain. It was from TJ Maxx and I loved it. I miss it so much because the little, uh, this part was like really rubbery and like I would just chew on it and it was almost like a fidget for me. And this is not soft. Like it has a little bit of rubber on it, but it's, you can't chew it. Um, and I don't love the color of it either, but it was from him and it was really nice that he got it for me because it is a nice, it's a nice, what do you call it? Hi, hi, not a hydrofask, flask, whatever. Um, and the first week I had it, uh, actually I think this first or second day I used it, I was filling it up and I dropped it and it has had a forever dent on it now. Um, and he always brings it up being like, you don't take care of the things like you. Like you got me something that was so big that it does not fit in my hand. It literally just slips out because my hand's not big enough to grip it. Like this is big. And he was like, my, it doesn't do that for me. It's fine. I think you're just like making stuff up. And I'm like, your hand is twice the size as mine, sir. Um, I like it. Like <laughs> I'm complaining about it, but I like it. Uh, it just, it does fall a lot. It falls out of my hands. And now that I'm thinking about it, my purple one also, it wasn't as big. It was a tiny bit smaller. So I could grip it like without it falling as I'm like filling it up under a thing. But it had so many, now that I think it had so many dents because I did drop it a lot. You would think that I just like go around just like smashing it into walls and stuff. Um, I don't, but it, it was, yeah, I think that's actually why he got me this because he saw how like badly dented my other one was. He just didn't realize how much I loved it. You know, like I didn't want a new one. But then I got rid of it because he got me this and I didn't want to be rude. So now I have this and I've had it for years. So it's still kicking. I actually do appreciate the fact that when I can take it on runs with me and I have taken this on runs and I do take it on runs, but it spills as I'm jogging and this one obviously does not. So I think it is practical. It doesn't fit into a uh, car. Why am I going on about these? Anyways, <laughs> we have an order to pack up. So Angie, if you're watching, you sent me a message on Etsy saying that you are a longtime YouTube subscriber and like you guys make my day. When I see that little like notification on my phone, an Etsy sale, I am almost 100% positive it's from YouTube uh, because I love you guys and you're so sweet. She ordered a pan cold sweatshirt. This is my last, no, I have, I have, I have two left. I am discontinuing these for the season and then next year I'm gonna bring back some really fun colors and um just to mix it up I honestly will probably bring back this might be the one I bring back I think I like this one a little bit better than the brown one yeah I probably will bring this one back too I think I'm only down to two other than this one left so I'm almost fully sold out of them I'm hoping they sell out at my show this weekend um oh yeah my show is this weekend so we have to just do a little prep for the rest of the week. It is Thursday today. Um, but we're gonna pack this up for Angie and we then have to go to the post office. And I do have, my friend is supposed to be coming through town on her way to her parents' house. She lives in St. Louis, which from here is like five hours away, um, but she has to pass by us to get to her parents. So she is planning to stop. I just don't know what time. I don't know if she has even left yet, honestly. Hopefully it's not like super late because I really want to go to a coffee shop. It is called Cedar Something. It's in a small town right next to me and it's so close to me and I always forget that it's there. I'm always complaining like we don't have um, a really cutesy coffee shop to just sit down in and we actually do. We have one that's like right down the road. Um, <laughs> but this one's so adorable so I'm hoping she comes early enough to where we can do that and then I can go to the gym. Because as you guys know, I am on, unfortunately, a little bit of a weight loss um, kick right now. I'm trying. I have not lost the weight, FYI. Uh, but I do need to lose some weight so that I fit into my clothes better. Because I don't want new clothes. 
Um, I mean, I do, but I don't, I, we don't need it. We do not need to go spending money on that. So we need to lose a little weight. And um, if you want a skin update, hopefully my camera is not making my skin look nice. Sometimes like it puts like a glow cast on me. This is like a Sony. I think it's just, it is, I don't put any like cast on after the fact. But I think while it's filming, sometimes it just like makes me look poreless and I have pores. Are they coming up? I think they are. Um, we were doing so good the last week without any acne, but we did pop up, I think, three last night. So we're sprouting some. No big deal. We're only halfway through, so it's not like my skin should be perfect. I'm rambling. This is the problem. I always ramble. I hope you guys like rambling. If you're watching, hopefully you like it. If you're a continued watcher, obviously you're used to it by now. Okay. definitely looks like tomorrow's show day and it's in two days but tomorrow I'm going to see my friend in Dayton which is an hour drive from here so it's gonna end up being like two hours driving and then a couple hours hanging out with her so I'm not gonna have time tomorrow so figured let's get everything done today so I'm not stressing another note and like this is no hate to my friend but I feel like it's a common uh, misconception <laughs> where I had a friend asked to hang out today and I was like, well, I already have plans with my friend that's coming in from out of state tomorrow. So I have to use today to get everything like prepped, binned, tagged, bagged, um, do my inventory, do my signage. Like I'm not going to be able to even get all that done today. And I know that I knew that I would need a little bit of time tomorrow. So I'm already like off track, <laughs> but she was like, your shirts can wait. You can come with me. She was like, trying to get me to come for like four hours today and I was like I just I cannot um but the it was the comment of like you there are just shirts like they you can get them done later like it is not just shirts prep for show is not it's not like just bag it in an hour and you're ready to go I don't think that anyone really has that kind of like show prep and it's stuff that like yeah, I probably could have got some of it done before, but it's not like I'm just sitting on the couch doing nothing every day. Like, I'm doing stuff. It just happens, like, when it's show week, that's when I get, like, the most, like, focused and uh, just, like, hyper-focused in on, like, getting stuff done. So, anyways, um, if you have any friends that do markets, just be patient with them if they can't hang out that week, you know? Like, don't, it's, it's not personal, I promise. <laughs> Really now it is like 3 p.m. which sucks I haven't even worked out. I don't think I'm gonna be able to work out today. I've just bagged or binned up all of my stuff I'm taking to the show. Oh just saw I missed one over in the corner. Um and now I'm getting do you see that cat? Now I am getting all of my other stuff ready. So I have to still do all the 
inventory, like just seeing what I have and then t not, ta yeah, tagging those, putting the prices on the back. I need to put all of my bookmarks away. I did do all of these. I think they look really nice in these little containers, not containers. I keep saying containers um, in these bags. So I'm going to have all one of each on display of the bookmarks. And then you'll see a couple of them are repeated. That's because they're going to go into my book as a display. And then I'm going to have um, all the extras already ready to go. So. And tomorrow, what I need to do, I bought, I forgot, to, I didn't tell you guys this. So I had been um, doing designs for my tumbler cups, and I told you I have a weather-themed design. I didn't do that yet, because I didn't want to spend money on this show, just because it's a small one. Um, but I was doing some strawberry ones, and then I got an email from Cotswold, which I bought her cup wraps before, some flower ones that did really well. And I'm like, instead of taking all this time doing my own design of strawberries, which like is so generic anyways, I'm going to just buy hers um, because she has all of it already spaced out exactly how I need it because getting the right size and dimensions is way harder than it sounds. Even when you're in Canva and you do the exact measurements, it does not come out the way when you order it from someone because you're not the one printing it if you don't have a DTF printer, which most of us do not because they're like $15,000. <laughs> so I'm like, I am just going to order off her. So I do have her strawberry prints that I'm going to test out. I'm going to do probably four of them at the show. I have a couple empty glasses I'm going to put on. I think I'm only going to bring one bit of cups though, so I don't need to do too many. But I bought 20 of them, and that's because I'm hoping, not a huge deal if I don't get it, but I'm hoping to get into the Strawberry Festival, which is like a nearby town of my hometown. It's only it's like 50 minutes from me, from where I live now. And it's a strawberry festival. I'm like, I need strawberry cups. Like, hello, perfect. But even if I don't get in it, strawberries are just like a summertime theme anyways so I'm gonna still use them for any show upcoming um and they're adorable so I'm excited to test those out and see how they look and I got oh I already packed it up dang it um I found finally glass straws that fit into my new cup lids because you guys know I had to switch to the metal straws because the lids were um a different diameter around where the straw goes than my old cup lids and I could not, like every straw I kept buying in, 10 millimeters, not for them. Eight millimeter straws are good. So I have some, I have them already packed. I'm gonna like put those in and sell them out and then switch over to what's left of my metal ones. I'll probably give out some free with gifts with people. Um, and then I just ordered another pack that should come in tomorrow so that hopefully any cup that sells can just go ahead and get a glass straw. Because I just think they look nicer. So I'm so excited about that. I wish I could show it to you. But you'll see it when I do the show. Um, I will definitely show you guys in that. How many times can I say show? Alrighty. Now on to tagging. I also need to figure out. I'm not taking any t-shirts to this one. Because it is small again. I'm going to say that a million times. I don't have room to take things that aren't in season. So I need to find a home for these somewhere figure that out I think for now I'm just gonna set them just down <laughs> I'm gonna sit on my cups okay and now I just need to do these look how many Stanley charms I have made and they're all just kind of I told you guys I recycled my old bookmarks I recycled some of the charms into the Stanley charms because they were just like super easy for me to pop on and then make some connectors that um didn't like work or like were too long or too short I had a couple things that I have to like move around but for the most part I had to pretty much just add the jump rings like deconstruct the bookmarks just add on jump rings and like split them up and I had plenty of charms so that's very exciting. These are not going to be core collection charms. The only core collection charms I have are these. I actually don't even know if I want to take these three. Only because <laughs> I'm afraid. No, I have photos. I'll take them. I was going to say, I'm afraid if I sell them, I'm not going to remember <laughs> what they look like to make them again. But that's dumb because I literally have them listed. So I will sell them. And they're adorable. 
Um, but yeah, I'm excited. I think I'm going to sell... I, not I think. I am going to sell these for $5. And I have them on TikTok for $5. I have them on Etsy for 8 Because it cost me, on average, $4 to ship them. So if I sell them for 8 I'm making 4 Etsy's always just like going to be a loss for me. But that's okay because... Um, I'm not ready to get my own website, <laughs> so I'm okay with that. And I don't want to make it too expensive either. And the reason, I know this is probably a question, like, why don't you just make the buyer eat the shipping? It's because I eat more of the shipping when I offer free shipping, um, whereas, like, if I had them at the prices I put on for the markets and for uh, TikTok, people have to spend that extra amount for the shipping, and it ends up it just, I think, mental game-wise, you don't want to spend that much. You're going to be like, oh, I'm buying this, but um, shipping is the same price, so it doubles it. You know what I mean? Rather than I sell it for $8, I eat some of the cost because it's not a huge deal to me. Um, especially making sales on Etsy and, like, building up a customer base, I think is more important than having the exact profit, like, range that I get on the other sites. Um, I don't know. That could be dumb, but that's just how I, I'm, like thinking it could change <laughs> but that's where I'm at that's why I offer free shipping but it's a little more expensive rather than when you're on TikTok and you see lower prices TikTok I think they're on to now making you pay for it for a while they were doing free shipping on everything that's not the case but they still offer free shipping on a lot of stuff so I don't ever have to deal with like spending the money for shipping when it's on TikTok it's just easier for me um but with Etsy yeah I will probably have to explain that a million times because whenever anyone new comes on here and they might like notice that but not a big deal anyways yeah my stanley charms i need to tag all those oh i forgot i still need to make a few more earrings because i still have more of these i think they're so cute my little rain cloud earrings and these are already i have these for eight dollars all my earrings are eight dollars um and they're really pretty i don't know if i showed you recently i made some adjustments to some of them cute all right let's um you know, tag these. I don't even know where to put you without breaking you. All right, and here's my inventory list if you're wondering what that is. I need to go through and just make sure I have everything so I can put it in my um, square reader. So when I'm checking people out, it's super fast. My first show, I feel bad. <laughs> Why don't like feel that bad? <laughs> but the amount of people that had to wait on me to uh, get my square reader up and ready for them took forever. But now I just click it, it takes a second. Some of these look long too, but I put them all on a Stanley cup to make sure they did not drag and they don't. That one right there, like literally is a couple millimeters from hitting the ground <laughs> but she works oh hi this is cute i forgot what i did on some of these because they are all a little different except for the three that are my core collection which i'm going to come out with more core collection ones i just have not yet i'm also going to do just at markets um alphabet letters for people to put on because my personal Stanley has a B on it. I've shown you guys many times and I think that's so cute. So when I do my build your own charm and um, bookmark area, I'm going to have the letters on there for them. Everything fell apart, so I'm sure the lens is smudged from the inside out. Doesn't look that bad. Okay, um, why are you yelling at me? One, 
You better not get on the table again. I'm struggling with him climbing up on the table and sitting there like a like our cats because our cats are naughty and shouldn't be up there either. Um, anyways, I just I'm sure you saw my battery died, but I started putting on my strawberry cut uh, pens, and the first one I did, and this is like probably happens one out of two times when I first start doing a cup is I forget to trim the edges on a full cup wrap because you have to have to have to trim the edges or it will overlap on itself and you will ruin it and obviously as you saw that is exactly what happened so that's great I'm gonna be spending I'm sure weeks trying to get all of these off of this cup just over and over putting it in the dishwasher until I finally get it off um, but getting the wrap off itself has proven difficult these it changes like every time I order whether I'm like designing it and um or buying it like and it doesn't even matter the seller because I've tried three different people um to do my designs it's always it varies how difficult it is to get the adhesive off the top layer um it's strange but this one has been by far one of the hardest ones I've had and it leaves it's been leaving a lot of residue which is also annoying but like you can get that off it's just extra work on top of it um so we are struggling <laughs> struggling and she made it like, where you have to on this design specifically if you're like interested in this one you have to trim it this furthest like closest to the actual print on the edges as you can or it will overlap so Lesson learned, I did get four done though. So we have, I only have room for four. So I have the four, that was my first one. So luckily I had an extra cup ready to go. Um, because like I said, I was recycling four of my gingerbread men cups that weren't fitting. I have a box already done of them, 12 of them that are in storage, but I had, I technically had 16. So the four that didn't fit in the box, I just have been running through the dishwasher to, uh, cleanse them and make them a fresh glass again. So sad for the gingies, but you know, I have I have way more, so it's not a big deal. Um, but two of them, so I had four, two of them are not wanting to release their decal. So it's gonna be, they're going on their third dishwasher of the day, not of the day, but like that I've been trying so far. Um, and I had just two extras anyways, I didn't have anything on it. So we're gonna pack those four up. We should be getting new glass straws today, so I'm hoping because there's some pink ones that would look so adorable in it. Um, but if not, no big deal because the ones that I got in are very pretty and I'm still gonna bring my metal straws. Some people don't like glass straws and I get that. So that is, I guess, really all I have left for the day. We, we are pretty much ready to pack it up. I still have to see my friend. Plans are changing. I might not be going to date anymore, so we'll see. She might actually be going back to St. Louis tonight, so she'll stop by. On her way because it's like a straight shot on 70 um, but here's the room it's it's looking dark because I don't have anything open it's very messy but here's everything I'm packing up I have my organizer I have three of these bins and then two bags and my table so not much and then the cups the cups I'm waiting I'm gonna put those in the car tomorrow because I don't want shattered glass it should be good I don't know what's wrong I tried making my like little uh, what do you call it? Chalk marker things on these. And I've used them before and like it, that looks good. But for some reason right now when I'm doing it on some of the same ones, it's bubbling up. So I don't know if the chalk marker is just like, maybe I didn't shake it enough or going bad. I'm not sure, but it's very frustrating because it doesn't look crisp. Oh, it looks like oh, a kindergartner did it. Oh, but I realized as I tried to take off the chalk marker, it stains. I didn't think it would. I thought it would just come off. It does not. So I ran out of like new ones to do. I did a new, <laughs> I did. I'll show you. I did a new one <sighs> and it looks so stupid. All right. I think I'm gonna, oh, I'm gonna get this baby away from this machinery and I will see you packing up the car probably. See ya. It's time to load. It's so cold. It was 60 degrees the other day. Why are we doing this again? It's at least not in the negatives this time. You made this mess and left me with the pieces. Now I'm gonna burn all the bridges between us. I can't focus. I
locked and loaded. Locked is important to note here because remember the last time it was not locked and the garage was up and the doors were open. So here's to not getting a break in tonight. Okay, I'm heading out. I have to just relax. That's the only thing I need to do is relax. And I'll see you guys in the next vlog, which is my Ryan Guys February market. See you then. Bye.